guess I'm, I'm having a difficult time. <laughs> Hi friends and welcome to another video. Today I am finally tackling something that I should have done months ago and that is reorganizing my bookshelf. It has gotten very very chaotic. There is not really a rhyme or reason to the organization and I have gotten a lot of books since I last organized it that have nowhere to go on the shelf. I also have some ideas of new things I want to implement. So yeah, let's just talk about the chaos of this bookshelf. So I am a big organizer by genre and by author last name. So how I originally organized this bookcase was I would have like all the books of the same genre together and then I would organize that section by author last name, which is why you get kind of just jumbled and all over the place which is fine i like that i'm a, I'm a big like dewey decimal girly i like how the library is organized and so i tend to organize my bookshelves in a similar way but i saw a lot of people do a favorite shelf and i feel like that would be amazing i have enough books now i think to fill a whole shelf to kind of make that happen which would be awesome and I also have a TBR shelf that I keep to the side. Unfortunately, most of the books on there need to go in the main shelf, so I need to transfer that. I also have books in piles just, just everywhere. Let me show you. Books here. We have the TBR shelf that doesn't operate the way it's supposed to. Books in window seals, because why wouldn't they be there? Just all in all, it's not working for me. It, it's not working for what I need and after Christmas when I took down all of the Christmas decorations that I put in the bookshelf there just was like a lot of just like empty space <laughs> that was not being used so I was just like you know what today's the day today's the moment I'm forcing myself to get this all done today because tomorrow I get my wisdom teeth removed so I, I can't leave this a mess. <laughs> it's like forcing my ADHD to finish it because I'm like, no, I have a very strict deadline. I have to finish this by tomorrow. Will that bite me in the butt? Who knows, but let's, let's get organizing. So first things first, I need to take all of the books out of the shelf, which is, which is easy, um, but also the most nerve wracking because then I get to see how many books I gotta organize back in here, so. All right, so books are now strewn across my living room. I try to take everything off in like a methodical way um, and then I just gave up. <laughs> first things first, I do think I am going to keep my top shelf the same. I just wanted to take everything off so I could clean and dust the shelves because they definitely needed some maintenance. Um, so I think that shelf is going to stay pretty much the same because I actually did like the layout and setup of that shelf. It was the prettiest one <laughs> um, for a reason. All the books are great and beautiful and bright. So I'm gonna put that shelf up first and then I think I'm gonna make this one my favorites shelf, either this one or this one. I'm not positive and then we'll go to fantasy and then things kind of get wibbly wobbly after that. I'm not really sure what to do because I feel like while I do like separating by like YA versus adult, it's kind of hard to do that with romance, fantasy, and everything else while also having everything feel organized by author last name. It gets a little, it's like almost like one too many categories. 
So I'm gonna think on that, but first things first, I'm gonna put my classic shelf back up because I do still think I want to organize by genre other than my favorite shelf, which will be like a mismatch of everything that I love. So let's put the classics up and then figure out what to do next. All right, I went ahead and grabbed all of my favorite books that I currently have in possession. I do have a lot of favorites that I haven't bought yet because I was not a person that like regularly would buy books for myself until last year. So a lot of these books that I own are just gifts that I've taken with me through college, through just my whole life so far. And then last year I really started purchasing books that I loved or purchasing books that I wanted to read. And now I'm going back to only purchasing books that I love because there are some books that I'm like, I have it on my shelf. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I want these on my shelf anymore, but they're there and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> so that does happen. But either way, I do have a lot of favorites that I do own that I'm going to put I think in order of like how much I like them, but that's also gonna be really hard to do. So they might just be thrown up there. <laughs> um, but I'm still like second guessing whether, where, to, which shelf, which shelf to put them on. And I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Well, no, I do know why I'm having such a hard time making, making a decision. I didn't take my ADHD meds today, which is probably why I decided to do this monumental task because that's how my brain works. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna put it on the shelf. We'll see. Either way, I'm gonna organize them and put them together in a way that looks nice, or at least the way that I like it. I don't know if there's gonna be a rhyme or reason yet, but we're gonna try, we're gonna figure it out. And yeah. I feel like a lot of reorganizing a bookshelf is just like sitting and staring at it for like hours. <laughs> I feel like I've been staring at this shelf for at least a good 30 minutes, if not an hour at this point. And I cannot for the life of me figure out what I want to do. <laughs> oh my word. I Like I have like too many genres going through my head to make this make sense. And so part of me is like, maybe I just put the books where I wanna put the books. <laughs> and there is no rhyme or reason, which, you know, sometimes that has to happen, but I, I want there to be some somewhat of a reason. <laughs> oh goodness. I definitely have like a good like fantasy sci-fi section ready to go. Um, and I have all of my like, textbooks and then poetry and anthologies already in because these are just a lot of these are like max textbooks from school my big like literary textbooks from school and it just makes sense to put them on the bottom shelf but I also added in some other like reference books and then all of my poetry right by my like massive poetry collection <laughs> Um, so that one is kind of already filled out, but, oh, yeah, we'll see. I, I, I'm going a lot of different directions. I feel like I just need to start putting books up and it'll start making sense and it'll work out, but goodness, I'm, I'm having a difficult time. <laughs>
All right, so I finally finished organizing the books, I think in a way that I like it. I think it works and we will do the tour very, very soon, but I want to put on all of my trinkets. I am a little bit of a random collector. I like a good rock. I like a good snail shell. I like shells in general. I like just weird things. I'm a little goblin-y when it comes to collecting stuff and I like putting that on my shelf to display as well because it's just kind of who I am. So I'm gonna put all of those up as well as some things from traveling um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of a tour. So yeah. All right, so I backed you up so you could see the majority of the bookshelf. Um, obviously the lower bits aren't as important and also they are mainly just like storage for board games and D&D &D manuals and stuff like that. But the things that you can see are all of my books. So let's go shelf by shelf and show you the new bookcase. So the top shelf is of course my classics shelf. These are like the literary canon books that fall into that space. Um, a lot of these I read during school, but also I love classics. I think there's something to be said about them. They are incredible books that I highly recommend reading. But that being said, they're all up here in alphabetical order by author last name because I'm a little crazy. Um, I also have added a little bit from Max Travels. He went to Peru and he lived in South America for a while, so we have some stuff from there. My next shelf is then fantasy and sci-fi with also kind of going into more like literary fiction and I just kind of did these by author last name except for these two. These kind of started their own category and just went from there and yeah, I'm a big I'm a big sci-fi fantasy person, so this shelf is definitely going to grow as I buy more fantasy book series that I liked. Um, but right now it works and I think there is room to grow, which is kind of why I have some of these books facing out. So there is room to grow. I kind of forced myself to make that space <laughs> so we don't have to go through this whole process every single time I read a new book. The next shelf is my favorite shelf. This shelf is books that I absolutely love and adore and yeah, they're just books that have a special place in my heart. There will be more on this shelf. I don't own all of my favorites, which I know is very silly, but again, I'm not a person that just goes and buys a book. I usually rent books from the library and then purchase them if I like them. So there's a few books on my list that I need to buy. but. As of right now, this is my favorite shelf, and of course I put my top tier at the very, very beginning, which is the Monk and Robot series, Braiding Sweetgrass, and The Little Prince. Those are like my top four books. Technically, the Monk and Robot series is two books right now, but my top books of all time. So I had to put those up front, but then you kind of get a little wishy-washy from there. I kind of just put them in any order, to be honest, but these are my favorites. Ooh, then... We go down here and these are every genre. <laughs> I do have them organized by genre, but I don't have a lot of specific genres, so they kind of just ended up on the same shelf. So we have mystery, we have romance, we have YA romance. I did separate the romance sections because YA romance and adult romance are very different, and they should be. Then I have just like general YA that's not necessarily romance. Um, I then have like short story collections that are fiction, and then I have memoirs and just like general nonfiction that goes into kind of random stuff here too at the bottom, but nonfiction, poetry, um, some of my graphic novels are all on the bottom shelf. Ooh. Okay, let me get up. We're moving over here now. Well, I guess we don't have to move over here. 
this shelf is my TBR shelf. It's books that I'm currently reading or books that I want to read. And the books that I'm currently reading are at the front um, because they're library books and I can't own them, but I needed to put them somewhere that wasn't my windowsill. <laughs> but then I have like books that again I want to read or I'm currently reading and books that I am eventually going to get to are stacked here. Some of these stacked books are books that I originally DNF'd but I want to try again because a lot of times I DNF a book not because I don't like it but because my ADHD isn't letting me finish it. <laughs> so that is kind of why that stack is there. But other than that, that is my new and refreshed bookshelf for hopefully the rest of 2024. We will see but I really like it. I think it looks really nice and put together and I think it'll be a really fun background for videos, which is also part of the goal is trying to promote books that I love versus books that I kind of just own. <laughs> um, but yeah, very, very excited. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a chaotic getting my bookshelf together video and uh, I want you to know there is no right way to organize a bookshelf you do you you know whatever makes you feel the most comfortable in your home that's how you organize your bookshelf this is just how i have figured out that i like to do it it makes it easier to quickly recommend something based on genre and also it's very quick to find books based on author last name because i don't know i just again i like the dewey decimal system i think it works i like how libraries organize their books i it just works for me. I want to say thank you so much for watching this far in the video if you have watched this far and if you want to see more bookish ADHD D&D &D, nerdy content in general I post every Friday and I also post shorts now and then here on YouTube so feel free to subscribe and join our little fun niche book community here on the internet and yeah thank you so much again and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.